If you see me in the streets, better holler at me Seeking for a beat, throw them dollars at me I don't like the feet, take that away from me You trying to be like me, you couldn't handle my story But we gon' let you know, we gon' let you know We gon' let you know, we gon' let you know Ladies and gentlemen, uh, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to yet another episode of Mr. J's Reaction. And uh, it's always a pleasure and honor to have you check me out. Now, uh, it's a beautiful Friday out here and I'm just chilling. And uh, we gotta keep the vlogging dropping. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, the UNGA, the 78th session just ended. United Nations General Assembly. 78th session it just ended and um that's a few things that we need i want us to talk about this vlog is going to be talking about exactly the image what a whole lot of presidents from africa said and how their message seemed to be synchronized seemed to be in unison you feel me but before we get started if you're not done or this is your first time seeing this film and they call me jay motherland and living in the diaspora and uh for the past couple of days man i've been dropping vlogs every day to talk about situations that concern my continent that is africa and any news that comes out of africa you feel me so it's gonna be an honor to have you as part of my team hit that subscribe button smile give us that thumbs up now ladies and gentlemen um the unga man the united nations general assembly it's uh it's an event where leaders from around the world they come together to discuss and talk about what is affecting the world and how they can solve the problems affecting the world we heard speeches from a whole lot of them over 120 came in presidents and then uh, delegations ministers from around the globe but at uh, this vlog we are going to focus on these lead those leaders from Africa and the envoys coming out of Africa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, this, of course, this this event takes place once every year, September month. We have actually not seen a whole lot. Now, when I talk about we, I talk about the people from Africa sitting and talking year in, year out, and no actions being taken, no bright speeches made, you know, you know everything you talk about this we gonna do this we should do that we should do this but ladies and gentlemen this year unga this year it saw a spark of fire now i don't know what brought that spark of fire but this year i can say this a whole lot of leaders and ministers and delegations from africa they came to the unga to talk that talk and what is to talk that talk when I say that, what do I mean by that? To actually paint the picture as it's supposed to be painted. Now ladies and gentlemen, Africa has been neglected for so long. The poor, let me just put it, the developing world has been ne neglected for so long by the mighty powers when it comes to decisions and actions being taken out when these people made at the UNGA. The United Nations, you know, after the League of Nations failed, Second World War, decided that, you know what, we are going to be that organization that is going to help the world come to peace, make peace. And you would think that the whole focus of this organization would be to ensure that everybody that is balanced across the world, like, Every nation, it doesn't matter how small you are. It doesn't matter if you are from which part of the continent or of the world, sorry. It doesn't matter if you are black, Asian, it, whatever it is. The United Nations is supposed to be a place where everybody should come to the table and feel equal. Well, that is the theory. But we've seen that for the past seven, eight years, that's not what has been happening. A whole lot of superpowers have been using this organization to promote their personal politics, geopolitical agendas, while the poorer countries, the third world, the developing countries have been left out, strung out, and nobody ever cared about these countries. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, this 
78th session of the United Nations General Assembly saw a whole lot of leaders from these developing countries, especially Africa, speaking truth as it is. We heard speech from, from leaders like the president of South Africa, uh, the president of Ghana, you know, uh, president of Sierra Leone, president of, 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 of Guinea, the leader of Guinea, uh, uh, and a whole lot of them, just to name a few. And one thing that stuck out is the fact that these leaders, Africa is starting to realize that they are being kept in the back burners. Nobody cares when it comes to a situation that really affects the African people. Nobody wants to deal with that. These superpowers who come together, they could care less about what these African countries really go through. Or what they focus on is to ensure that they push and promote their agendas. They push and they promote whatever they feel like is going to happen. But from the speeches that we heard, man, you can see that some of our leaders are starting to wake up. Now, I don't know if it's because in recent years, they have been looking elsewhere. They have been looking towards China, Russia, and you know, and the world is waking up to this whole creation of bricks. That is what China and Russia have been trying to do for the past 78 years. They have been trying to make sure that people actually see the West for who they are and what they do around the world. The geopolitics that the West uses the United Nations for. Now ladies and gentlemen, uh, these African leaders came, they came to fight. We heard a whole lot of speeches like, you know, this organization is discriminatory. You feel me? You guys do not regard us as the Africans. You guys are unfair. You guys only promote your agendas that suit you. You guys care less about what really affects us, as us as in Africa. See, let me just say this, man. This 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly really gave me a reason to be proud because some people will say yes, they all go out there and they talk, they talk, you know, they, you know, you talk, you whack your fingers, you do all that, but just about 15% of what is said at the UNGA is really, really put into action. Now, our African leaders came in, they spoke, they talked, and to put into action what they all said, it's clear to see that some of them are already turning towards China and Russia. And now BRICS is in place, and I wonder how many more African countries are planning to join BRICS. I will end this vlog by saying this, ladies and gentlemen, I do think that the West needs to pay close attention to how they've been treated Africa because there comes a time when, man, when you push somebody to the wall and their back is against the wall, they start pushing you back and they start understanding because from all the speeches that I heard, I think the African leaders are enough is enough. They can actually see through some of these Western powers and their agendas and what they're trying to do to the African continent. And then when it comes to the real talk, like to real help the African continent develop, the Western world is not trying to do that. It's like they want to keep the African countries at their back and call. Now leave a comment, I want you to let me know which of the, the, the speeches by these African presidents was your best and what message do you think out from all of these speeches that these African presidents came to the United Nations General Assembly to do, 78th session. Now that's my time, do not forget, I hope you did give us a thumbs up. Let's share, man, chime in from whatever part of the world you are, I want to hear from you. You feel me? It's all love. Have a great weekend. Creation, reaction, God, big up the RB family. Mr. J, I see you. I know some artists don't do this. God bless you and your families.